practice today for your guys to getting in the bowl preparation? Well, it's kind of back to the normal grind, normal routine. Uh, getting ready to work. Uh, we've had a lot of good work from the younger guys. and get a whole lot of work this year. Uh, today was the first day really kind of see where we in on last. And I like uh, the guys' attitude. Came out, got a good day's work. Great weather, perfect time to practice. And we got some good work. What did you think of the guys who got most work the last four days? Well, that's good. I mean, that, that's good for me because I get a chance to work with those guys, and I don't see them a whole lot of time working on scout team stuff. So it's good. I get a chance to coach Jordan Washington. I get a chance to see uh, Nick James. I get a chance to see John Harris and all those guys. So it's been good for me. Coach, I know this is this, this situation here. So what's your best him to help him to go this year so How does he handle that and bounce back? Well, I think Nick's he's starting to mature, um, which is good. You know, he, he, he understands the situation he's in. He put himself in. Uh, and he, he can work himself out. So he's starting to mature. He's still got a ways to go, but he, he's starting to take some steps. In Co the right Coach, obviously it's your first year, so you really didn't see Caleb Ewell as much at defensive end. He moved inside for you. Talk about his impact this year at defensive tackle and how that position move kind of favored him. Well, Caleb, been, he, he's kind of been a grind guy. I mean, he, he's there every day. He's been hurt. He, nobody, he doesn't say a word. He just keeps going about his business. Um, it was a situation where we were just trying to get the four best guys on the field. And he's one of them. So uh, I, I think with his size and strength, he's a pretty good technician. Uh, it was a smooth transition for him. It was a rough first part of spring. But I, I think I told you guys, in the spring, you could tell a big difference. And he's, he's getting more comfortable. And he's been a valuable asset. He's played so many in for So uh, he, he's been able to handle that. And he's been kind of a rock solid guy inside. Chris said he was still going to petition you to play some defensive end next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, there's no question. Uh, that's going to never end in soccer. So uh, I'm going to try to stick him out there some, just keep him happy. But uh, <laughs> he, he brings a different dimension out there. I mean, he, he's a hard matchup for some tackles in terms of some speed and power. And uh, we try to mix him up and, 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 and try to create a mismatch with him out there at times. How do you help him kind of realize a, a young guy like that, highly touted, how do you help him realize that, hey, you might not like this right now, but – it's, the, it's, it's for the best. It's the best for the team and for yourself. How do you well, help him realize that? You, you answer the question. It's best for the team, best for yourself. I mean, it's all about trust. And, and Chris is a young man. He, he wants to play. He, he, he has the right attitude. He says, Coach, wherever I can help the team. And, and that's the attitude he's having. That's the way he's approaching it. So, um, and that's what he's a team player. And so, a guy who was as highly recruited as he was, he came in, had the right attitude. He's starting to mature a little bit. In terms of understanding the speed and what he has to do to get himself better, and uh, he's an unselfish guy. Have you been around?